Okay, we're here at level four. Um, what we have here is a hexagonal prism. Um, it's a regular hexagon, and what I'm going to do is construct the net. So basically, we know what I'm going to have is a hexagon, then a series of rectangles, and another hexagon at the other end. This is sort of what it's going to look like. How many rectangles will be here? Six. 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 How do you know? Because, because there's six sides. Six sides. That makes sense. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm sorry, that's too many, isn't it? Uh, smart way to do six. Bam! Right there. Right there. Right there. There we go. That's sort of it. Okay. So that's kind of the idea. One, two, three, four, five, six of these, right? Now, how wide are they? Um, eight inches. Eight inches. Okay. How tall are they? Twelve inches. Twelve inches. Good. Does everybody get the idea there? Yeah. Okay. So then, there's going to be six of them, so what's six times eight? Um, six 48. times eight, 48. 48, so then this distance here we know will be 48. Does that make sense? 48, 48 times 12. Does that make sense to you here? So 48 times 12 is going to get us our lateral area. 48 times 12. 48 times 12. So can anyone do that really quickly? 48 times 12? Yeah, it'll be uh, 480 plus 96. It'll be 576. Yep. Okay. So this is the math first. Five hundred seventy-six. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree totally. Okay. Now, guys, for the surface area, the surface area we take, we're taking this rectangle, which which equals the lateral area, and we're adding the two bases. Now, what shape are the bases? Hexagon. Hexagon. So let's investigate what the hexagon actually looks like. How long will each side of the hexagon eight, be? Eight. Eight. Does everybody remember that this is really six equilateral triangles? Yes. We do yes. remember. And what's the equilateral triangle area formula? Um, side, side uh, um, over two, two, parentheses, square root. I mean, square root. Yeah, square root over three. There we go. Oh. Okay. And, of course, how many triangles are there in here? Times six. six. Times six. So, right. basically, this is our hexagon. Okay? So what's S here? Eight. What's eight divided by two? Four. Four. What's four squared? Sixteen. So what we have is sixteen square root of three times six. So what's six times sixteen? Oh, damn. Give me a second. No problem. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. So it's ninety-six square root of three units squared. Now, did we just solve one hexagon or two hexagons? Two one. hexagons. We, we, no. we just solved one right now. One hexagon. Oh. So how many do we have to solve? Two. 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 So what do we do to this number? Multiply it by two. Multiply it by two. Okay. So 96 times 2 is 192 square root of 3 Plungingly. inches squared. So this gets added to this. Last thing. Can we combine these terms? Yes or no? No. No. Why not? This is, yeah, this is, well, it's because this one's radical, and that's numbers. So, what we'll get is 576 plus 192 square root of 3, in parentheses, inches squared. Okay. Crazy looking, but 576 plus 192 square root of 3, inches squared. Any questions? Yes. How'd you go from units to inches? Um, I should have never written inches here, or units here. Why should I have written inches instead of units? Because it says you right there, right? Okay. So go with what it says right there. That was an oversight that I started with. This is what actually belongs here. Okay. And last, the volume. The volume is pretty easy. We take the area of the hexagon. So what was the area of the hexagon? 96. 96 square root of 3. And we multiply it by the distance between this hexagon and this hexagon. 12. So it's going to be 96 square root of 3 times 12. So basically, it's a big math problem. 96 times 12. Tell me what you get. It's 960 plus 192 is 1152. 1152 square root of 3 inches squared. Yes, I'm not going to apologize for being fast. It's a big number. Isn't it inches cubed? Oh! No. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. As you like to say, epic fail. I'm sorry. Okay, so bloopers, bloopers. So 1,152, the square root of three inches cubed. Okay, so there's all of this, um, but we also want to have the construction. So it's probably wise to actually do the construction first. Um, the construction is going to look like this, only it's, everything's going to be measured. Okay, so what is my side length on my uh, my um, Hexagons? Eight. 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 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one segment of eight inches. It's going to be too big. Is it going to be too big? I hope it's not too big. Let's try it down here. Eight inches. And what we'll do, and I might not do the whole thing, because I think you'll get the point pretty quickly. Well, you're going to do a little thing. So what's, what's the construction that I use to make the hexagon? Equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. So what I'll do is this oh, I get it. and this. And of course, and I'm going to kind of cheapen this up. There's one equilateral triangle, right? Mm -hmm. And then I will go like this and like this. <laughs> you guys know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah. Do I really need to demonstrate the whole thing? No. 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 So I end up with this. Sure, okay. Now, how long does this rectangle have to be? 90. No. 12. 12. 12, inches. 12 inches. So, of course, I will measure the 12. So can we do that too? Yeah. I mean, I want you to do it accurately. Oh, okay. I only want you to do one problem. So, you know, take your time. Um, how wide will I have to go here? 48 inches. 48. Does everyone get that? Because it's eight here, but but the net demands that it be the full perimeter of the, the shape of the hexagon. So the perimeter of the shape, the hexagon would be eight inches times how many sides? Six. Six. So the, the full width will be how wide? 48. 48. So it's going to be pretty huge. I tried to use numbers that would make it pretty big so it would be really easy to see. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with that. Okay, and then of course this is the end of our rectangle. And where's the other the hexagon going to be? Will it be above or below the rectangle? Below. below. It will take place in the final eight inches right here. And as I construct it, you know, arc, arc, triangle, arc, arc, triangle, 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 triangle. Beautiful. I have my net. I solved my lateral area by finding the area of this rectangle. And again, this is the perimeter, right? And this is the distance between the bases. So this is 12 and this is 48. Is that clear for everybody? Crystal. And then use the equilateral triangle formula, the equilateral triangle construction to get my hexagon. Okay, so it's basically a long collection of things that we've done before. So I think it shouldn't be too bad. Just take your time. Make sure to ask people if you're a little bit confused, and you should be fine. Thank you.